Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be dealing with prime factorization. A prime number is a natural number greater than 1 that cannot be formed by multiplying two smaller natural numbers. A natural number greater than 1 that is not prime is called a composite number. So here you can see on the right side here that 2 is a prime number, 3 is a prime number, uh, 4 is not a prime number because it has uh, two composite numbers. And 5 is a prime number, 6 is not a prime number, 7 is a prime number, and 8 has 4 composite numbers, 9 has 3 composite numbers, and 10 has 5 composite numbers. Okay, so there are different ways that we can check to see if a number is prime, right? Uh, the first way is called the trial division, where we test for the multiples of any number between 2 and the... Uh, square root of that number. Uh, the another algorithm that we can use is the Miller-Robin algorithm, uh, which is fast. And I'm going to go ahead and implement this in another video, but I will implement it. Uh, if you're generating a number from, let's say, 1 to n, then we can use something, uh, another uh, well-known uh, algorithm, uh, which uses a sleeving uh, to calculate or to rule out multiples of a number um, that is in uh, prime all right so uh, eventually I'll get to those algorithms later on but uh, today what we're going to be doing is the trial division uh, algorithm then I'm going to show you guys how to use sleeving to generate prime numbers and then we're going to hit the uh, Miller Robin one after so uh, let's get started uh, I've already pulled up a uh, credit project here, a Dart project. Uh, if you don't know about Dart, uh, it's closer to Java. Um, let's go here, type in Dart, and um, there you go. You can test this out on your own time. Uh, version 2.1 is out now, and this is what I'm currently using. Uh, this is good if you want to uh, learn uh, to create uh, apps for both Android and iOS using the same um, source code, right? But this is not the aim for this video, so let's get back. All right, so what I've done right here is import the math class because we're going to be using this. Um, so what do you want to do? So for example, let's say that, um, let me make this into a multi-line comment. I don't know why that happened. Okay, so uh, let's say that we have uh, a number, let's say 16. 16 is easier to work with, right? And let's say that we then square root uh, 16, right? So we're going to get, uh, we're going to get uh, 4. So for a prime number, for a number to be prime, we know that number can only divide a uh, 1 and the number right so this is called a number n okay so what we're trying to do is limit the amount of numbers that we have to go through to figure out if a number is prime or not and the max numbers that we have to check are only two numbers okay that number is one and itself so let's say we have five right and uh, let's say we have five so it'll be one and five if you go ahead and let's just put a pipe symbol here. You know that there are two ways we can get a prime number. First thing is we can look at the lower half of the number and the upper half of the number. If we look at the lower half of the number, we should only have one as the occurrence there. And if you look at the upper half number, we should only have the number as the occurrence there, right? So this is what we're doing here. For 16, we're looking at the lower half numbers. We're looking for the numbers that divide into 16, right? So for 16, the lower bound number that divided to 16 um, would go, let's uh, do this, would be 1, 2, and 4 would divide, would go into 16. So this right here is only greater than 1, right? So it means that the composite numbers on the lower bound part of the square root of 16 tells us already that 16 is not a prime number. So we don't have to check the upper bound numbers, as, uh, upper bound numbers to figure out 16 is a prime number or not, right? So this is the entire algorithm here. 
and uh, we're going to go ahead now and implement it. Okay. So we're going to create a function here and we'll call this one is prime and this is going to go ahead and take in a number. Also uh, with Dart, what you can do is you can either uh, implicitly just tell the type that you want to take in. So if we want an int, you say int. Uh, so I'm going to do it this way. All right. So what we want to do is we want to get the um, lower bound. So I'm just going to call this one uh, lower bound. It's going to equal to the square root of number, right? And then what we want to do is we want to go ahead and floor it. All right, so you're just going to make sure that this is an int and there are no fractional parts here. The first thing we want to do first is check. We're going to say if the number is less than or equal to 1, right, then we can go ahead and return false. Because a prime number uh, great, uh, greater than 1. Okay, so uh, if it's not greater than one, then uh, it's it's not a prime number. So now that we have the lower bound, we can go ahead and create a for loop. So I'm going to say for for uh, it's going to let's call this one uh, div or divisor, right? It's going to equal to one. Um, divisor is less than or equal to the um, lower bound divisor plus plus. So how can we tell how many um, numbers are divisible by n in the lower bound or n divided into divisor? Uh, divisor? Um, what we need to do is we need to keep track of a variable. So I'm going to call this one counter or we can call this one um, divisors found. All right, so initially it's going to be zero. All right, so we're gonna say if um, number mod divisor equal, equal to zero, then divisors found plus plus, we're gonna increment that. And if divisor bound is greater than one, does that mean that the lower bound has two um, multiples, right? Or two divisors, then we can just go ahead and return false. And pretty much that's it. If this passes, we can go ahead and return true. All right, and let me just uh, format this here, make it a little bit neater. All right, so I hope this is uh, easy to understand. Uh, this is a lot more easier to understand than the uh, Miller's algorithm. So um, this is the reason why I'm implementing this first. And I'm gonna go ahead here and check this out. So, what we can do here is mm, uh, we can use this to generate some um, some prime numbers. So uh, let me put uh, generate uh, primes here, and this is going to take in a number, and this number is going to be the upper bound. So no, let me just call it uh, uh, upper limit, All right? And what we need here is to create some list of primes. So let me do a list, um, list primes equals a list. And we're going to pass in some ints here. All right, so we're going to say for um, where uh, I'm just going to call this index equals to one index is less than the upper bound so upper limit index plus plus now you're just going to say if uh 
is prime and we're going to pass in uh, index then we're going to do a uh, list prime dot add and we're going to add the uh, index and then um, no let's just make this equal to All right, and then we can just go ahead and return uh, lists primes. All right, so now we can go into main. So it's going to create main here, and uh, we can go and print and let's do uh, generate uh, primes, and let's give it. Um, let's see. Let's do one twenty here and so I'm going to right click and run this all right and you guys can see here that uh, we do generate all of the prime numbers um, however there's a more efficient way that we can generate prime numbers like this using uh, sleeving all right and that's what I'm going to cover in another tutorial all right guys this will be it for this tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something if you like the video please give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good night. Bye-bye.